the first criticism is that uh, you remember we have implicitly assumed this that uh, when the capital accumulation is going to happen the labor transfer from the rural sector to the urban sector is going to happen proportionally this is not generally true right and the job creation in the urban sector is also going to grow proportionally this is not generally true but what we have not assumed is what could also be true is capitalist in the urban sector they might invest in labor saving technology why do we always assume that they are going to employ only labor to produce more they can very well employ capital they can very well employ they can very well invest in that kind of technology which is labor save which is capital intensive so in case if capitalists are going to invest in the capital intensive technology then how do we think that this is going to increase employment this is not going to increase employment so one assumption is that uh, you are implicitly assuming when capital accumulation happens labor transfer is also going to happen proportionally from rural to the urban sector and that is not necessarily true because capitalists they can also invest in uh, the labor saving technology then this assumption that increase in capital accumulation in the urban areas or it's sorry in the urban sector is going to lead to a proportional increase in the labor transfer from the rural to the urban sector and employment increase does not hold valid right it does not remain valid it is not valid not a valid assumption not a valid assumption now if you remember the diagram which we drew yesterday this was this a shows the subsistence wage this wm shows the wage in the urban sector this wm sl shows the uh, the perfectly elastic supply of labor from the rural to the urban sector this d1 d1 curve shows for a given level of capital it shows the increase in uh, or, sorry it shows the demand function for labor which is the marginal productivity of labor equals to the wage rate this is going to give you the amount of labor which is going to be employed now supposedly this thing happens your uh, uh, capital accumulation happens because of that what happens is let's say i am using so this is the kind of the demand curve let's say right this is the kind of the demand curve which you have drawn means what you can see can you see this that uh, this is using more of capital and less of labor right this is using even with same amount of labor because here right in case if i am just going to put it this way am i employing more labor no am i employing more labor no okay just think about it how much i was producing earlier when the demand function was d1 d1 zero d1 f n after capital accumulation i am producing zero d2 f l am i producing more yes i am producing more but am i employing more labor no it is a labor saving technology with more capital i am producing the same labor uh, with more capital i am producing more output with the same amount of labor right thing is that this new curve which you have drawn that has a more negative slope which shows it is a labor saving technology it shows it is a labor saving technology right uh, there is the another assumption another criticism lewis has also implicitly assumed that in rural areas there will always be a surplus labor that may not be true always right there are i mean as your text also says there are some geographical exceptions to this rule there are seasonal exceptions also maybe that is true in china or uh, there is true in uh, southeast asia but not necessarily in all countries so uh um, this assumption also doesn't hold true so this is also one of the criticism for lewis model that 
you can't just always assume that rural areas will always have the surplus labor. For Lewis was that there is the competitive labor market in the urban sector. Now, this assumption is also not valid, right? They say that this is also not valid. Why it is not valid? It is not valid. The reason being, you just can't assume that uh, in the urban sector, they will not have uh, trade unions. They will not have, they means labor will not have uh, bargaining power. So they say this that even before 1980s, right? Even though in rural areas, there was huge surplus labor in the agricultural sector. Even though there was unemployment in uh, the modern sector, but still wages were rising. But what is it? That, what is it you have assumed? You have assumed that WMSL is the supply curve, perfectly elastic supply curve. Wages are not increasing. Wages will only increase only after the entire surplus labor from the rural sector is exhausted. No. In the presence of uh, realistic assumption, that is, you can have trade unions. So labor unions can also exercise the kind of the bargaining power. So wages can increase much before then the much before than the time when the entire surplus labor is exhausted. Then there is one more assumption of Lewis was that uh, there are diminishing returns in the modern sector. But there is an evidence to show that there are increasing returns in the modern sector. So that assumption is also not valid. This assumption is also not valid because what research shows is that in the modern sector, you can also have increasing returns, right? So this is what I wanted to do in this case. Thank you very much.